Want to know more? Follow me. This winter, Longleat is hosting the Festival of Light, a spectacular display of lanterns which originated in China almost 2,000 years ago. The designs are based on myths and legends from Chinese culture, and each one is handmade from scratch. Just inside here are some of the finished lanterns, and they'll stay inside until they're moved into position for the festival. Let's go take a look. I cannot believe the detail when you think about how big these lanterns are. Well, I've got my uniform. I think it's time to get involved and see how they're made. So I'm off to meet Mulan, the team's translator, who's going to tell me more about what's involved. Hi, Mulan. How are Hello. you? Good I'm, to meet I'm you. Fine, thank you. Now, this area is incredible. What exactly goes on here? First, uh, they make the frame, and then they put the lights inside, uh, and finally, they put the silk uh, cover the frame. Yes. How does the silk stick to this huge frame? Right, uh, they use the glue on top, glue the silk on the frame. So they literally have to cover the entire yes. frame? Yes, in all, glue. By, all by hands. You wouldn't want a bulb to go, would you? I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> now that Mulan has shed some light on how the lanterns are made, it's time to get hands-on and give it a go myself. I really don't want to mess this up. This elephant's only got four kneecaps and I'm doing one of them. <laughs> Once the silk is stuck on, the excess material needs to be cut off and neatly. Something I'm not very good at. Every different coloured section is then finished off with a gold trim. I think I'm better to leave the professionals to it, considering mine was the only messy part. <laughs> Thank you. Now, if you think that's impressive, just wait until you see what's next. It truly is a beast and will be the longest lantern, measuring in at 100 metres in length. This incredible dragon is made up of over 20,000 different pieces of porcelain and glass. That's a lot of plates, bowls and spoons to fasten in place. In the end, it'll take 12 people about three months to fully assemble it. Every single piece of porcelain has been tied up by hand. Not only that, the patterns of string on them is incredible. So that's the longest, but what about the tallest? Coming in at 18 metres high, it's another biggie, and I'm helping to get the top of this temple lantern in place. Yes, it's on. You know what, that looks absolutely brilliant. I'm going to leave them to it and I'll be back here in a few weeks to see the finishing touches and to see all the lanterns in their full glory. It's taken a specialist team of 100 people three and a half months to create 7,000 lanterns. And today I'm getting an exclusive look at them. Not only that, but in just a few hours time, I've got the special job of switching them on. I cannot wait. Before that though, let's get a sneak peek at some of the finished lanterns. Hi, Steve. Yeah. Let's go. There are actually 7,000 individual lanterns. I cannot believe that. And that's, that's animals, that's yeah. plants we and flowers. We reckon we've got around 500 flower lanterns and around 200 animal lanterns. So. How much material would you need for something like that? Well, uh, around 15,000 metres of silk, different coloured silk. The, the wire inside them and the metal frames, there's, there's 30 tonnes worth of steel that go into making up these, uh, all the lanterns. That's a, that's a lot of steel. The most impressive display was set to be the porcelain dragon, but a very special lantern may just beat that. If we come this way, this has been specially created for Blue Peter. It's our very own Blue Peter badge lantern. It's actually part of the dragon. How cool is that? All the lanterns are in position and look amazing, which means it's nearly time to see them all lit up. Do you think you could help me with a little countdown? Three, two, one! 